Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this, which is the Through Night Catapult Mini. I mean, look at the size of this thing. Tiny little flashlight. So this is uh, obviously a compact light. It's not really an EDC light. It doesn't come with a clip. It does come with a lanyard. And we'll show you the uh, accessories in a minute. Um, but it's about the size of like an EDC light for a lot of people as far as like the length. But obviously you can see the size of that, the head or the bezel, just gonna be too wide to carry comfortably in a pocket. But um, cool little light. I mean, made to basically be a compact little uh, thrower and we'll uh, show you what it looks like in use in a minute. But there's a look at it right there. And let's talk about the accessories that you actually get with the light. All right, so as we'd expect, you do get the through night instructions. You do get a USB-C cord, you can see that right there, which is a win that now they're uh, using the USB-C. More and more companies are doing that, so that's, that's definitely a plus. Um, I use a different USB-C to charge this one up. That's why this one still has the little twist tie on it. Then you get the bag of accessories, which is the lanyard. You get a couple extra O-rings and you get the extra cover, which is that thing right there, which will cover up the, uh, the battery charging port. Here's a look at the light again. You can see the interface is right there. Nothing as far as an end pressure switch. On the other side, we'd have the little cover for the uh, USB-C charging port. You can see there, very smooth reflector inside. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just super compact. I mean, you can see right there how small that thing is. As far as your dimensions, about 81 by 46 by 26 millimeters, and I'll roll the information down in here in the bottom for those of us who are still talking about inches and feet and such. But you know, obviously you can tell a compact little light. 87.5 grams is the uh, weight without the, the battery. That's always a pointless measurement to me. So you'll see right here down on the bottom, the weight in ounces, and that's including the, uh, including the battery as well. Now, speaking of the battery, let me open this thing up here. Basically just twist this like this, and you get this little battery. So 1100 milliamp battery, it's 18350. So it's not an 18650. Here's your end cap. Put the uh, positive end up. Close it up. There's an O-ring in there to seal it up. Close it and then that's how the light works. It's drop resistant to 1.5 meters and waterproof to two meters underwater. Now let me give you the information as far as your, um, your battery power. So when you press the button in, you can see that blue light is on. So you're gonna get different color lights depending on how much battery power is left. Let me read those to you right here. So if it's blue, it's 21 to 100%. If it's purple, it's 11 to 20%. If it's red, it's one to 10%. And if you get no light, that means there's no battery power left. I've said this before, I'm glad they have an indicator, but like 21 up to 100% is a huge range. Like if I'm at 99%, I'm gonna run this thing for a while. If I'm at 21%, I'm probably thinking about charging it. So I wish they would have some smaller ranges, you know, uh, 80 to 100, 60 to 79, something like that. But it is what it is. At least you have some sense, some sense of the uh, outputs or the uh, power that's left. Let's talk about the outputs now. Firefly is 0.5 lumens. That's gonna run for 106 hours. That is a long time. Low is 21 lumens. That's gonna run for 12 hours. Medium is 96 lumens. That's gonna run for four hours. Your high is 235 lumens. That's gonna run for 80 minutes. Then you have 680 lumens for turbo, that's gonna run for 70 minutes. Now, I'm looking at the information here. Um, they don't have anything noting uh, like the, um, the fact that it's gonna run for like three minutes and then drop way down. So I've been digging into this. Um, generally what happens is that if it gets hot, it's gonna slowly drop down the temperature. But most through nights, a lot of O lights, other lights, you know, you run for three or four minutes and it's gonna drop significantly down, maybe to half or a third of that turbo output. But this just says 680 lumens for 70 minutes. So we'll see about that as we actually go out into the night and uh, test this thing out as far as your burn time. All right, as far as your function, hold it down. It's gonna come on at Firefly and then hold it, it'll go up to the next level, hold it, next level, hold it, next level, and then it'll go back down to low. So it'll only access Firefly if you if it's off and then you hold it down. Now if I triple click, it's gonna go to strobe, so strobe warning. So if I triple click, it's gonna go to strobe, and then if you hold it for one second, it's gonna give you strobe, beacon, and SOS. So strobe warning here, triple, triple click, hold it for one second. Now it's gonna be in SOS mode. Actually, this is beacon mode, I'm sorry. So it flashes every once in a while and then hold it for one sec, and now it's in SOS mode. I'm gonna hold it for one second here, it's gonna go back to strobe mode, so strobe warning, and then click it and it'll go off. It does also have a lockout mode, so if you click it fast four times, it's gonna to go to lockout, so it's flashing there, so if I bump the switch, it's just gonna light up, and then it'll, I think it goes off here in a second. Yeah, it goes off. So, oh no, it stays on actually. It looks like it's gonna give you that kind of pulsing, fade on, fade off, as far as the uh, little switch. So it's locked now, so if I bump it, it's not going to uh, turn on. 
click it four times, it'll unlock. And now it's back and ready to be used again. As far as your memory function, it will uh, go back to the last output you used other than your beacon SOS or strobe mode. So uh, yeah, I mean, you've got the Firefly, low, medium, high, and turbo, so five outputs. And um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the rundown. It's a slick little light. I mean, throw a lanyard on this, throw it in a pack. It's super lightweight. Um, we'll test it out and see what we think about it. All right, so that's the details on the light. Let's uh, wait till night falls and we'll go out to the night and use this thing. All right, guys, I'm outside. We're looking at my door uh, to my house, which is about 15, 20 feet away. And let's go through the different settings. So first off is Firefly. You can't really see it on the door, but I'll show you it on my hand right here. So I can tell you immediately, it's definitely a, a very tight beam with a hot center. Okay, we'll go up to 21 lumens here, shining at the door. So 21 lumens, plenty of light to like, you know, see the door from 20 feet away, maybe, you know, probably up to 50 feet away would be totally fine. Argo to medium here, which is 96. Definitely more of a uh, kind of a spill coming out there. Definitely a very clear hot center though. So there's 96. Go up to 235 here. And we'll get back and give some, some uh, distance shots in a minute. But this is 235. And now 680. So there's 680. At this close, I mean, it definitely washes out on the camera. So let's uh, do some distance shots now. All right, we're looking at a set of four chairs, which is probably about 75 feet away from me. It's out in my yard. I'll just show you this. So we're going to show you on the low setting, which is 21 lumens. So here's 21. So I mean, definitely launching light out into the night. This thing feels like a light, a, a compact, but a lightsaber nonetheless. So that's 21. Go up to 96 here. There's 96. Let's go to 235 here. And now up to 680. You can see the light out here in front of the camera now. I mean, this thing is piercing the light. Super impressive for a tiny little light like this. Let's turn the camera a little bit and we'll look off into the distance here. I've got a stone wall that's about 120 feet away. So again, this is turbo, but yeah, I mean, there's nothing hiding along that wall without me seeing it. Again, it is a very tight beam, um, but I can definitely punch some light out into the night there nicely. This is 6A. Let's go back to the 235 here. So, so here's 235. And then up to the turbo again. I mean, you can see it's giving me some decent light in the, uh, in the yard. I mean, I could definitely walk from where I am, 120 feet to the stone wall. and be totally comfortable about seeing everything on the way. But this thing is definitely a thrower. Let me show you a strobe real quick. So strobe warning. So there's strobe. Here's SOS coming. Actually, this is the beacon here. There's the beacon and then one more to the SOS. All right, I'm going to go off into the distance. I'll be about 130 feet away and shine it back out the camera.
All right, guys, you can probably see I got my seatbelt on. I'm in the car. I was just going to shoot a bunch of footage like at my house in the yard, maybe in the edge of the woods there. But this thing is just doing such a good job at throwing light out into the night. I wanted to go to this dirt road I often go to just to see how it'll do throwing some light. So we're heading over to this dirt road in the woods and uh, we're going to see about distance for this light. Pretty impressed so far. Actually, quite impressed so far. Here's Firefly out in the dirt road. See it on my hand, can't really see it on the road. Here's low. You can see it on the road a bit and then it kind of disappears when I lift it up to shine it off into the woods. But I can see it probably 25 feet ahead of me. Let's go to medium. Yeah, even with that, I mean, I could see off into the trees with the human eye, but you can't really pick it up great on camera. When I get over to these trees on the side, you can see it. But with the human, I could see, I would see decent, you know, probably out 350 feet. Let's go up to medium here, or that's medium, let's go to high. So here's high. Again, you can see it off the trees there. A little bit hard to pick up as it goes off into the distance, but I can definitely see all the way up around the bend here. Let's go to turbo. So I can see where the road starts to curve up there. And it's a little bit hard to see because the, the beam is so tight, it's hard to pick up kind of anything else way out there in the distance. But let me put the car lights on so you can see how far I can see. So I can see to the bend, I'll tell you that. Now let's show you what that looks like uh, with the car lights. So you can kind of see the bend here, I'll show you again. Like right where this light disappears is where the bend is. So that's probably 300 feet off, let's say. So definitely not as impressive as I thought it was gonna be because um, the beam is so, so tight. But let me shine the other direction here. I mean, yeah, you can see that reflector down there in the woods. Super tight beam out there in the night. All right, guys, we're here wrapping up talking about the Through Night Catapult Mini. Uh, price point for this at the time of this video is $49.99 but they have a coupon on Amazon to save 20%, so it's 50 bucks, it's gonna go down to 40 bucks. Now, if you compare this one to the Catapult V6, obviously you can see a significant, significant, significant there's the word, difference size-wise, and then the size of your lens or your bezel. Um, this one's obviously gonna give you a, a broader beam, um, and because of the size of the battery, this is gonna, I think, I think have a little more punch out into the night. Um, but you're talking $79.99 versus $49.99, um, even if you got the 20% discount on this one as well, you're still talking a 30, $30 difference. Um, this one's pretty slick though. I mean, it's such a compact little light. If you really need a spotlight to like punch out into the night, but you don't want something huge and heavy, this is definitely something I would check out. Um, this one works well, but like when I think about a compact thrower, I think about this as opposed to something that's got a really big bezel, maybe a you know, bigger battery system. This is like super compact, almost EDC size for a thrower. Um, would I EDC this? It didn't come with a um, with a little sheath or holster, so probably not. And I'm not gonna just throw this in a bag or in a pocket, um, or in a pocket, I should say, I'll throw it in a bag, but not in a pocket, just carry it around. But, I mean, you saw this thing, it really launches some light out to the night. Um, I will tell you, on video, this one, you couldn't pick up the spill from it nearly as well as you can in real life, obviously. But um, it does have decent spill, especially when you get to the high and the turbo uh, levels. Um, yeah, so. Cool little light though. I mean, when they when they sent this to me, I was like, what the heck is that thing? It's just so compact. And again, comparing the two, let me just pull these guys up side by side. You can see just very, very just different as far as you know your size. Functionality is gonna be the same. You're gonna get a little bit different of uh, you know, the impact of the amount of light and everything, but the mini and the full size and a very loud bird. So uh, yeah, I like this guy, pretty slick. Um, we'll see about future use and how it's all gonna all fit together for the, with the bird for me. But um, yeah, let's hear your thoughts in the comment section. What do you like about it? What would you change? And let's get that conversation started with you, me, and the bird down in the comment section. All right guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids. If you haven't done so already, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.